The most interesting thing here though is the clay towers. There's actually one right behind me there. They're about five to 10 meters tall and they all have a solitary tree on top of them. And there's also lots of flies here. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elisa and today we're going to be exploring the southwest of Qatar. To be specific, we're currently in Umbab. Umbab is mainly known for its beach, which is dotted with naturally grown palm trees, but we're actually going to start this vlog at the quarry, the clay quarry. It's a very, very cool landscape, so let's check it out. I have to say that when we first drove in, we were really shocked to see the landscape. If you don't know, Qatar is quite a flat country, so seeing the high ridges and deep canals that you're going to find here was really quite exciting for us. And as you're driving through, you really do get the experience of being in some sort of canyon, so it really is worth the visit. The most interesting thing here though is the clay towers that you'll see right behind me. They're about five to 10 meters tall and they all have a solitary tree on top of them. My understanding is that when the excavations began, uh, the people working here excavated around the existing trees and then as the site expanded, they just continued to duplicate that. So now you're just left behind with all these towers dotted all throughout the place. The Umbab clay quarry has been operating since the 1960s and although it is not a natural site since it was created by human excavation, the landscape left behind is truly fascinating. The drive here will take you about one hour from Doha and you can get here with a sedan. Uh, you'll basically get to drive into the main road and see the main open area. However, if you want to drive through the excavation site, you will need a four wheel drive. I will also pin the location in the description section below. Now we're going to head to Umba Beach. We haven't been there before, so let's go check it out. sunset. So we just made it to Umbat Beach which was about a half an hour drive from the quarry and as you can see I'm surrounded by the palm trees right behind me there. I'll turn around so you can see there's another cluster on that side as well and the sun is actually just about to set. So I'm going to tell you a couple of things to consider before you do come out to Umbat Beach. The beach itself is quite shallow and it's very, very rocky. So it's not the ideal place for swimming. And I've also been told that the rocks themselves are quite sharp. Now we had a bad experience at Secret Beach uh, where you can't swim without sand shoes. So uh, you, you should know that if you're planning to come and spend a day here, if you're planning to swim. Um, also, there's a couple of industrial zones on both sides of the beach as well. But other than that, I would say that it's a beautiful spot to come and relax, at least while the sun is setting. If you know of any other places to visit in the Umbab area, please let us know in the comment section below. We do recommend Dukan Beach, which is a 25 minute drive from here. So definitely go check it out. The, sun, um, the sand's quite nice there. Uh, and if you have any questions about visiting any of these two places, please leave them in the comment section below. 
Anything else, Joaquin? Bye! <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.